So first thing we have new in producer is integration with the replay app. So now you can create a playlist directly from uh, the application. So first of all, you need to scan the QR code that will link your production to the replay app. Replay app will now give you an option to create a playlist. So that from that uh, selection you do on the app itself, you can uh, export a playlist to producer. And from producer, there will be a new slot only for replay where you can play that uh, playlist. And you still have all the controls the same way as we have for clip player. So in terms of user experience, it's pretty much the same. Uh, another feature that is uh, new for producer is the auto failover where you can define a primary and a secondary slot. So in case uh, your primary is on PGM and it starts failing like the coding, uh, you can set up a time uh, for the auto switch to happen. So you can have two sources, one, ba uh, one main, one backup, and then there will be a auto failover uh, done for you. And the, the other uh, feature that we introduced is part of the workflow. It's basically now we have an application called Sidecar that can create macros to control producer. So basically from here, you can define different rules. So either you can create a playlist or you can uh, create rules for cuts to happen. So you can trigger cuts from different sources with different durations. It can, it can be a dissolve, it can be a cut. So different transitions and, or just a, a, a cut. So that's what we have new for producer.